So a new app that we have for you is Sora by Overdrive, which is a collection of eBooks and audiobooks. And if you have used or read eBooks from the Pamunkey Library, this is what they use. So this may be familiar. Uh, this is on your class link page, which hopefully you have bookmarked on your Chromebook. Um, and this link is also available in the library Schoology course. Uh, I'm going to click on the class link app right there. And when it opens, it should say Hanover County Schools. Um, and as you scroll down, you'll see the books that are available. And remember, this is all of Hanover County Schools. So you will see some elementary books. You may see some high school books. Um, but there will also definitely be some middle grade books is on there as well. And it says there are over 640 books altogether. Uh, you can scroll down and you can search by subjects. Um, so for juvenile fiction, which is what they're calling middle school level books, um, there are 429. There are also some um, nonfiction books there as well. And there are some graphic novels. Um, if you keep scrolling, you will see audiobooks. There are 25 audiobooks. Uh, and if you see the icon with the headphones, and that means it's the audiobooks that you can listen to as someone is reading that book aloud. Um, so I'm going to go back up here to the popular subjects and I'm going to click on juvenile fiction. And it will show me the books that we have. Um, and a lot of these say place hold which means that someone has already checked out that book. Um, but if I click on place hold, then I'll be added to the list of students that want to read that book. And it will come to me um, in order of who added their name to that list. Um, so if I click place hold, I may be third in the list. And as it goes through those other two students, then it will automatically come to me. Uh, this Harry Potter one here says borrow. Um, and if I wanted to read it, I could click borrow and it would be added to my Sora account. Um, I'm not going to click borrow because I already have a few there. Um, but you can read a sample if you want. If you click on the book cover, uh, it will open and give you a summary and some more information about that book. And again, you can borrow from here. You can read a sample um, or you could you can make a list. Some of you have a someday list. Um, so you could create a someday list in. Um, Sora as well for ebooks that might be available. Um, I'm just going to go back to the juvenile fiction list. Um, I have a few books checked out already, so I'm not going to borrow um, anymore. Uh, if I go to shelf down here at the bottom, it will show me the books that I already have checked out. And here I have two. Um, I can look and see my holds list. Um, I have one book on hold and it says it'll be about 11 weeks before it comes to me. So that means quite a few students also have this book on hold. Um, but eventually it will make its way to me. Um, I can click on history and see what books I have read in the past. Um, and if I wanted to read any of these books, I can click on open. Um, and it says this one is due in 13 days. This one is due in four days. I need to get on uh, and finish reading that one. Um, if I wanted to return it early, I can click on options and then return. Um, or at the end of these 13 days, it will just automatically disappear from my account. Um, and you do not need to fill out a book dash request, check out a book from Sora because it is digital. You can go ahead and click borrow and it will automatically check it out to you without having to go through book dash. Um, book dash would be uh, for physical library books, but these are digital. So you can go ahead and check out ebooks um, and it will allow you to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and start reading this one. So I'm going to click open book. And there are a few options I have here to change the settings. If I kind of click in the in the middle, those uh, menus will go away and I can have a bigger screen to read. Or if I click near the top or near the bottom, I can make those reappear. Um, I can change the layout. This is more like a kind of like an open book where you have two columns. If I click on that, I can change it to just one column if that's easier for me to read. If I click on the three lines and go to reading settings. I can make the font bigger or smaller. That's a little big. Maybe I will go a little bit smaller. Um, I can change the layout so the contrast works better for me. If maybe I would like it dark. Now that's a little too dark. Um, that's a little better. Whether there's a little more contrast, so that it's easier for me to read. So you can change any of those settings for yourself. Um, and then I'm going to click done. Uh, and then again, if I kind of click towards the middle, those will disappear, and I get the full screen again. 
and to turn the page, you're just going to click over on the right to go forward or over on the left to go backwards. Um, and you can read these on your Chromebooks. You can also put the app on your phone uh, and read the ebooks on your phone as well. Um, I am going to close this and go back to my account. Um, and then I'm going to click back on Explore so I can go back to my full list. Now, these are books that Hanover County has purchased. You can also connect your Sora account to the Pamunkey Library and have access to the Pamunkey ebooks without a library card. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that if you click on these three lines up on the top corner. And then you're going to go to Add Library. And you only have to do this once. Once you've done this, it will automatically remember that you're connected to that library. Um, so then I'm going to search for Monkey, and this is my library. And so now I so now I have an adult account, so I'm going to see adult books um, that the public library has. You will only see middle grade books, middle school books, or younger. Um, so again, I can search by popular subjects. There is a juvenile fiction, and here we have 2,000 books. I think with Hanover, the juvenile fiction was 400 something maybe, or maybe not even that much. Um, but the Pamunkey one is 200 or 2,000 books. So it's a much larger selection. So I can click on that. And again, it works the same way. I can place a hold if it's already checked out, or I can borrow it uh, if it is something that I want to check out. Um, so I'm gonna click on borrow. Um, it's going to ask me to sign in. Now, this is a Pamunkey Library book, but if I choose Pamunkey Library as my library, it's going to ask me for a library card. Uh, but you should have a Hanover County Schools choice. If I click on that, I can sign in that way and still get to these Pamunkey Library books. I'm going to sign in. It's going to ask me for my Google login, which I've already done, so it probably remembers that. It did. So it may ask you to sign in with Google. Um, I didn't ask me, but you may get that. Um, you may get that screen that comes up. So then here's that book, and I'm going to borrow it. And it's going to be added. I'm going to close that. Um, it's going to be added to my book. So now there is that book um, that I just borrowed, and it is still downloading. So if we go back to Explore, you'll see... Um, I can choose this drop down menu and look at just the books that Hanover County has. Or now that I've added Pamunkey, I can change this and look and see what they have. They and the Pamunkey Library has a much larger selection of audiobooks as well. Um, so if that's what you are interested in, you can limit your search um, just by audiobooks. Uh, or I can click on preferences here. Um, and where it says format, I can change that to audiobooks. And click apply, and then it's only going to show me the audiobooks or the books that have the audio to accompany it. And again, if I go to juvenile fiction, there are 308 um, that have an audio component to it. Um, and again, I can borrow it or I can put a, place my name on the list um, to reserve that book.